but out there, I mean, there's raccoons, there's squirrels, but, and you would think of macaw with the claws and the beak, because I know the beaks are very strong, mm -hmm. uh, would be able to defend himself. Um, but I think the, the cage was closed and the raccoon somehow got into the cage and, and killed Wit. beautiful CVPs, welcome to my channel! It's a beautiful day to be alive and this is love and I am Caroline. If you're new here, welcome! Please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button too so you don't miss any episode because I'm uploading again and I am today in the valley. This is the valley and I have love with me right here. Love is my hyacinth baby, my car. Oh, look, this is LA. Somebody just throw away a bed frame. Oh, it's actually a nice bed frame. Oh, maybe we can use the wood for chewing. See those type of wood? Usually I take them, cut them in pieces for them to chew on, but too much work right now. So let's stay focused. Come, 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 come in, watch me. Hey guys, if you haven't already, go check out my book, Angelic Parrots. AngelicParrots.com. Go check out my book because we have a lot of stuff in my book <laughs> that I want to teach you about. So today I have a new episode for you. I'm going to visit my friend. Her name is Roxy. Something happened to her macaw. So let's go say hi to Roxy. How do I get in now? So Roxy just texts me the code. Let's punch it in. Just got in. Let's go. Okay, so we just got in. The coat was right. I just had to, to wait a minute. Let's go in. She lives on the seventh floor. Oops, there we go. Seven. There's no seven. He's just four. This is the first time that love is in the elevator. How you like it? How you like it, love? Huh? There's no seventh floor. Hi! <laughs> this is the biggest parrot in the world. His ah. species. This is love. Hi, love. I love love. <laughs> oh my gosh! I used to be so scared of beaks, though. Get he is so sweet. Get off the bird. Ah, you're just like Pixie. Is love okay? Yeah, love is okay. And this is, oh, that's Steve. Steve, go away. Steve. We're gonna, Steve. we're gonna close this because it's Steve. Okay. okay. A bird meet cat. Cat meet bird. <laughs> Where's your cat? Here. He's scared. Oh my gosh, he is huge. He's a big cat. I he is bigger than my bird. I saw your cat. He's tiny. Are you filming right now? Yeah. Oh my god. Let's see, I got you a fixed up. For you. you look gorgeous. Thank you. Because I'm a gorgeous lady from wrestling. Wow. I'm not expecting a bird. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanted to warn you, but this no, is love. No, I'm not warned. <laughs> yeah, you know I have a bird channel, right? Yes, I know you have a bird channel. Oh my gosh, you're so, you're huge. He's huge. <laughs> Oh, it's so calm. Yep. And your calm. wings are clipped, right? No, clipping. Free flight. Free flight. Free flight. Wow. Always free flight. Oh my god, you're going to give me a muscle on my right arm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're the gorgeous woman of wrestling. <laughs> you're the boom boom lady. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, he's pretty heavy, yes, like what? Eight, talk? nine pounds? Well, look, not you. Shut up, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he says peekaboo. Okay, ready? Peekaboo! Peekaboo! And 1919. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! This bird's like, who the heck is this? I've got a cat down there. I've got a dog down there. Bowie, you were on my last nerve. That, that is Bowie the rock star. And this, this is Steve. Steve is gone. I see food. <laughs> or is that a. 
Uh, they're not really into birds. They're like little birds, right? I think cats little are birds. Yeah. yeah. He's got blue feet. Wait, is Love a girl or boy? He's a boy. Now, how do you know if they're boys or girls? I know I've had one before, but how do you know? Oh, DNA test. You can't see it from the outside. Okay, I didn't think so because we found out with Wiz. I'm gonna turn this off. This is all about you. Thank this you. This is all about you, love. That is Bowie. Look. That's Bowie. But Bowie's like, what is this? What is this thing? I am so in love with love. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one just all blue. It's very now, rare. Now I have a, 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 sorry about the little chirping, but that's not a bird here. That's actually my fire alarm. That got fixed 20 million times. So if you think there's a bird there, love, it's not. It's not. Will you talk to me, please? He's shy right now. He, he actually, talks when he's happy. He actually put a, a great thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Love, are you not happy? He likes you. Otherwise, he would oh, have you flown away, over. Steve. You oh my gosh, that's you the biggest cat I've ever seen. Look, a cat and a bird and a dog. And look at Love. Yeah. How careful Love is. Look. He's very gentle. You, he's very well trained. Now, with Wiz. Okay. He might fly now over to okay, me. Okay, where are you going to fly? Where Just to fly? me. Okay, really? If you put your arm out, he'll fly to you? No, even if I don't put my arm out. Okay, I gotta see this. <laughs> How do, what do you do? Did you peek a boo? Peek a boo, me. No, if he wants to, he likes you right now. Hi, love. Hi, love. I yeah, can't even not speak to baby talk birds. I always baby talk with okay, birds. I baby talk every. Hi, love. Hi, love. Yes, you are seeing me baby talk. Hi, love. You be quiet, man. He's Bowie, a Garfield. Oh, wow. It's a Garfield. Hello. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Oh. Love. His name is Love. His, His name is, is love. love. What a love. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hold him? Sure. Oh. All right, come over sure, here. Yeah. The lighting is here better. Oh, you just stopped. And there Steve you go. was just looking. There you yeah, go. Dance workout stuff. Pretty. Oh, don't show off. <laughs> Peekaboo! Let's see who can get him to talk first. Peekaboo! Baby talk. Peekaboo! You, not you, Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> Bowie. Like, I want some attention. He wants attention. Oh, and that's Steve. Steve is like, I don't understand. Let's look at Steve. <laughs> oh, my God. You have full house, too. Yeah. And what we a... have Tucker is downstairs. That's, um, that's... That's Dan. That's Dan. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is that Tucker? That's Tucker. That's Mother Tucker. Oh, Mother Tucker. Mother Tucker. Does he mean Baby Tucker? He was a... No, that's... I can say it, but I won't. No. <laughs> Mother Tucker. I'm sure everybody will understand what that is. So, um, he's a rescue that we found. And oh. after um, Ringo died, we just saw he was wandering on the streets and we picked him up. And oh, then he has yeah. kind of like a hair loss. Oh, I don't know if you've ever seen a bird. Oh, he's a little bit blind and he shakes, but he gets a lot of love here. Oh, well, he gets well, not that kind of love, but <laughs> yeah. Hold it. Okay, wait. Hold yeah, on. Hold it? Then you can say. No. Yeah. Oh, come yeah. on. What, the bird? Yes. Oh, it's. Oh. Dan, you used to. He used yeah, to have no, two I birds. Had, I had two. He used to have oh, two birds. Oh, you really? This is love. <laughs> yeah, he's the biggest parrot in the world. Really? His species, uh, blue macaw, like hyacinth macaw, you won't get a bigger parrot than him. Yeah, so, I, like I said, I had two collectors parrots, yeah. male and female. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There you go. Are you happy? There you are. There now you we go. can see your gorgeous little face. And his little red freckles. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's so cute, full of energy. Um, Love is uh, three years old now. Oh, he's only three. Yeah, and he can get up to 60, 80. Yeah, 60, wait, wait, 60, what? 60, 80 years yeah, old. He can go mm -hmm. up to be 60 years old. Wait, how yeah. much does Love weigh? I think, I never weighed him. I think like probably like nine pounds, like four, oh. four kilos. I don't weigh, I don't weigh my birds. People, yeah, I mean, how would you weigh your birds though? You have a food scale. Really? Yeah, but then it goes and bruised. <laughs> Okay, with, with our bird, Lindsay, Wiz, Wiz was um, in a cage, but Wiz would actually sit on top on the wooden little thing. Yeah. Hmm. But Wiz was out of control. What type of think, bird was Wiz? Uh, a blue and yellow oh. macaw. Oh, 
okay. And um, I didn't let Wiz just go everywhere, but we got these new blinds and they were wooden and Wiz would just go there and chew the wood, which is probably the worst mm. thing for a bird. I love your patio. Like who has such a huge patio? Oh, look, love is looking at it. <laughs> Glow Netflix parties we've had here, how much fun yeah. we've had. We've had Judy Tenetu here, Mondo Guerrero, Todd Bridges. You went to one of my parties. Yeah, I you? came to the first you, season of you Glow. You came and, uh, and I appreciate it after Pixie passed away. Yeah. And I don't know how yeah. I ended up, I, I love leaning against this. Okay, look at this. This looks so epic. <laughs> oh, this is right in my Washington Post. Uh, photo shoot oh yeah it was here pixie was right here wow. and i was holding pixie like this that's so cool yeah this is lovely Reseda. <laughs> <laughs> hard to believe that this is in Reseda, though isn't it yeah the valley yeah it's beautiful the valley. This and is you so know what valley. it's great because you get like your wait where's your son where to go it's it went there. right there down yeah there. and it's great for fireworks to go yeah let me stay away from it so you want to so, talk about whiz yeah so what happened with whiz again Okay, without getting into too much detail, but I, I think people should know this, though, especially with birds. Uh, Wiz went with my ex-husband, and he moved to Laurel Canyon, and it was kind of up in the hills. I think he thought it, he was safe because the house was kind of raised up. Um, but out there, I mean, there's raccoons, there's squirrels, but, and you would think of macaw with the claws and the beak, because I know the beaks are very strong, mm -hmm. uh, would be able to defend himself. Um, but I think the, the cage was closed and the raccoon somehow got into the cage and, and killed Wiz. Wait, wait, the raccoon opened the cage or it, the cage was closed and was the raccoon closed. came yes. with his little hands and grabbed and ate the bird alive out of the cage? Yes. <gasps> That's yeah. so heartbreaking. Yeah, I, I was can't so that. upset and then I felt, you wow. know, because I gave the bird to my ex-husband yeah. because he really loved the bird and it wasn't intentional but I kind of think you know it's like I wouldn't have kept him outside I would have yeah. brought him indoors no yeah. matter what in, in fact I think my ex-husband did a episode called Verminators huh. and where they actually showed they were talking about the raccoon so yeah it's so they came out. I don't know what you're going to do about a raccoon because a raccoon is actually in his I mean, environment, yeah. you know, and doing like what raccoons do. Like I, you know, I tell that with people with dogs or cats and um, yeah. coyotes, they're just doing what, what they doing. do. Like yeah. we're in their world too. So yeah. it, it was, you know, it was an unfortunate thing. And, and Wiz, I think was only about so sad. maybe six years old. Wiz Still had a long young. life. With a beautiful baby, yeah. So guys, you heard Roxy. But everybody who's listening, don't ever, ever leave your bird outside in a cage. If you live up in the mountains or in a rural area, there's always dangers lurking around the corner to get your bird. So it's so important to have your bird inside in a close up um, environment like in a house or a garage or somewhere but never ever put it out in the garden overnight maybe the first two or three nights it's okay but what is if the fourth night the fifth night a week later your bird can be dead eaten alive by a raccoon what a horrible painful death yeah i was very upset about it very yeah. upset and then when what can you do you know yeah. that's why i was very glad that you know we rehomed einstein yeah and it wasn't about, because I could have easily sold Einstein, but what I was more into, because I love animals, is to give, you know, the bird a good home. And yeah. I knew that Einstein went to a really good home. And trust me, I could have used the money back then, <laughs> but I did not care. I just saw how well Einstein, and Einstein laid an egg. So um, also <laughs> and that's when we found out that Einstein was a female. So we got Einstein because we don't know this stuff. Yeah. So... Like That's I awesome. said, all I had was a book to go by. Here, here's a bird. But I'll tell you how we got into birds, though. Yeah. Okay. So as a family, my ex-husband and I and our kids, we went to Hawaii. And there were a lot of people walking around, and they do that. They take pictures, or you can hold a bird and take pictures. And as I look back now, I always think, that's got to be horrible for the bird, though, too. 
yeah. you know, to do that. So I'm kind of against that now. And, um, you know, but it got us into the birds. Uh, you know, but like I said, I wasn't really a bird person, but I fell in love with the birds. Mm. I was hoping to to do and, and be a bird person, yeah. but it's like, if you're not, you're not. It's just so much work having a bird. I, yeah, so but look work. what you got there. Yeah. Oh my God, that. I would always be afraid of Wiz because Wiz's beak was always like all oh, lashing me. out. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I was kind of going like this and harding yeah. and and yeah, um, you can't show any fear. If you show fear, I show fear. They they will bite you. Okay, was that what it was? Yeah. If they like. Sometimes, like my Glory, she wants to lash out. I, I just give her my hand and she doesn't bite. But she pretends she wants to bite. Well, see, and I go like, like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no. And then you pull back. I'm like, no. no I won't. And I'm like, Here, here's my arm. <laughs> Here, come on. That's why I'll be honest. Even when you said, you want to hold him? I'm like, yeah. Because I was traumatized too. Because I got picked yeah. at a little bit. Yeah, but he's so calm. He's so That's sweet. Why I can't believe that. Every morning he gave me hugs. He love on me. He's those blue macaws. They are the gentle giants in the bird world. Look, if you put out your hand, he doesn't even like bite you or lash out or try to like get your hand. Now I have a question for you. Do you ever cut his nails? Of course. You do? Yeah, they get them really sharp, and especially in free flying. I have all scars, a lot of scars in my arm. Oh, see all these scars? Bird lover. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, that's why I clip his nails. And it would have been fun to have Wiz as a free flyer. Yeah. But he did, be. he did free fly. He did. Remember when he actually, I said we were having a party and Wiz flew out? I never met Wiz. But remember, I told you about Wiz, and that's how I talked to you when I saw that you lost yeah, your bird. Yeah. And and I think Wiz was out for like three days, so I'm googling like, yeah. how do you get your bird out Back. out of a tree? So I was up all night going, Wiz, Wiz, and we let Wiz know that we were there. Okay, so I would I would stay up all night yelling for Wiz. And Once every, he flew away. Yeah, but he I was knew gone for three days. About three days, but I I kept going out there. We would take turns because once, because I also saw hawks mm -hmm. flying around Wiz, and I got really scared. And I, I don't think Wiz knew how to you know defend himself, even you know with hawks. So uh, we finally got a cherry picker. You know what that is? One of a those tree climber. Yes, they call them cherry pickers, and it went up. I'm like, there's no way he's gonna go you know and just hop on and like he was having fun in that tree i think and then all of a sudden uh, uh thank god it it rained and then it was like something out of a movie wiz was coming walking and then the rain just went on his wings and he just kind of like dropped into my uh my so, ex's art <laughs> wait the cherry picker went up to the tree when it wiz. was raining Mm -hmm. Wiz was all wet and couldn't fly. I because Wiz was trying to fly away, and then it, I think Wiz just finally felt, you know what, I need to go home. So the cherry picker just grabbed him, and he didn't fly away. He was and he trying him back. to. He was trying to, but the rain just landed on his wings, and just I think Wiz just kind of gave up. So just, the bird came down, flying into your arms. So the cherry picker didn't really grab him and brought him down. Well, what a cherry picker is is basically a ladder. If you can picture, like when they're when they're trimming trees. Yeah. So like four hundred dollars, and I think you and I talked about that. Yeah. I told you to get one, and four hundred dollars you can rent one, and they just go up to the tree. So you're like in a little box. Huh. So you don't know if the bird's going to be afraid of the cherry picker. Oh, it's like this machine. Right. It's not a climb. Cli oh, it's a yeah. machine that goes up. Right. Oh, so see. the, yes, yeah, so the machine was going up and then he, my ex was like kind of far away yeah. to where there, he couldn't get any further to it yeah. because Wiz was in a tree. Yeah. So then all of a sudden that's when it rained and then just, Wiz just kind of jumped onto his arm. So he jumped onto the guy's arm and the guy... To just, my, ex, my ex-husband. Who was up in the cherry picker. Up in the cherry picker. Oh, got it. Yeah. You know, he flew on a tree uh, last year, April, before COVID. It was Feb February 2020. Yeah. And the fire department had to come and get him down. 
Wait, we called them and we had one right down on Sepulveda and they said, sorry, we can't do it. Yeah, they, I called them too. They didn't come. It was it was a miracle that they came. That was before COVID. Oh my so God. So the fire department came, I think it was uh, fire station 34 from Los Angeles. Oh, shout out to them. Yeah, Gosh. shout out to them. Wow. No, yeah. we called so them. We didn't know came, what to do. He came down. He went on the arm you, of the fire. Did you learn fire. your lesson? Are you done driving your mommy crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't fly him. I wanted to graduate him and fly him on a level three, two, three. Mm -hmm. uh, the first two times was great. And then the third time he got spooked with other birds. And then he had to camp out one night. Oh, it was see, it yeah, was scary. I, yeah. Even though he had a GPS on him, I the GPS oh, was like on all night, so I could always I wake up. I couldn't sleep the whole night. But so you know what I'm talking about. Oh, we yeah. didn't have a G. I was a GPS going. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> That's so but funny. I saw because they're so bright. You know, yellow yeah. and like a teal color blue, not yeah. like this. Because um, this is a dark blue. This would be hard to see through. A, a oh tree. yeah. Like once he's up there, you can't see him. Yeah. You can just hear him. Yeah, I love you. He's like, like yeah. yeah. But you are beautiful, yeah. and it looks like in the feathers there, there's yellow. It's like no, there's coating. no yellow. He's it just looks like look, it. It's all uh, underneath is all dark, and then uh, on top is all blue. It's all just and dark. Look at the shadowing right there. Does it? I guess as an artist, I'm looking at like. <laughs> oh, look at me there. Oh, he's just here, yellow, and uh, around his eyes. Hey, love, look at my fancy pack. Give him oh, a toy. toy. You want a toy? Oh. No? Want a like, toy? I don't know what's going on here, Mom. Hey, you need oh something God. else. No you Please want a nut? Show. I get the macadamia nut. Oh, cool. Wings. Wings. Oh, I love Wings. their tongues the way they do that. Yeah. <laughs> Roxy. Roxy here. She's famous. She is one of the legendary. 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 I get stuck on words. Too, yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Let's say it together. Led one, two, three. Legendary. Legendary. Okay. <laughs> Gorgeous woman of wrestling. Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Ladies. And, and what about you? Ladies of wrestling. Wait, wait. What? Don't they know about you and the Boom Boom Girl? No, Are they we... don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> they don't know about no secrets here. That's how we met, though. That's how we met. That's how we met. So that that's a good thing, <laughs> guys. If you don't know that, I was a woman of wrestling too. So I did some wrestling in the gym. Uh huh. See, we got her to tell a secret. I knew it. No, she was a badass wrestler. Yeah, my character was slash a. <laughs> We are about to produce an exciting new television show about professional female wrestlers. It's going to be the first of its kind. Slash a B. Slash a B. <laughs> but your character, tell us about Roxy, Roxy Aster. Uh, Roxy Aster was created by, by me. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Actually, um, our, our director saw, I don't know what he, how he saw Roxy Astor and me. I came from Auburn, Washington um, with no credit cards, not a checkbook, uh, no money, but I did have a, a Porsche 924. And mm. he says, you're going to be the next rich girl. What a Park Avenue knockout. And I'm like, where's Park Avenue? <laughs> <laughs> New York? I haven't been, what, I think Auburn, Seattle, and then to LA. That was mm -hmm. it. That's that's where I've been. So I had to, and there was no Google back then, ladies and gentlemen. No Google. There no was no computer to even teach you how to act rich. So <laughs> No cell phones. And no, nothing. nothing. Yeah. So no internet. Um, I just kind of came up with her and just thought okay how I, i've got shoulder pads okay i've got a cute outfit i got diamonds i've got glitter okay i i started morphing into roxy as my costume and my hair started happening that's so cool yeah so i think and i noticed that with all the glow wrestlers like beastie when she got yeah. her mohawk i actually gave beastie her mohawk in oh, our yeah. apartment I sat there with the clippers and she cried and I go, but you're beastie, you are beastie. And all of a sudden she started snorting and growling and she turned into beastie. And if you remember beastie, she had the big shoulder pads and the chaps. It looked like 
chaps that you could see everything, but it was actually fabric. So, there, so. many people don't know what's the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. What are they? Okay, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling were in 80s uh, wrestling, the first all female wrestling show that yep. came on after WWF. And uh, we, in fact, we won an award for the CAC for, for being the first all female TV wrestling show. We beat WWF in the ratings wow. back then. <laughs> yeah. So then we ended up doing a documentary, which went back and kind of, you know, we told our stories. You had Mount Fiji and Matilda the Hun, who is my best friend. I see her all the time. In fact, mm -hmm. when you called me, I was visiting Matilda the oh, Hun. Yeah. Maybe I was visiting her, her, yeah, over in Orange County. Oh. So, you know, we're we're keeping her going, keep her spirits up. Oh and my um, oh my God, what? you scared me. <laughs> what happened? What are you seeing? Are you seeing something? What happened? What? What would you see? What, what happened? It, it's so funny though, is that I didn't know that that Dan had birds. And I wonder what happened to his birds though. Yeah, he says he had two electors, right? Yeah. It's a lovely cake. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank You're you. such a talent. Thank you. Now, do you own a bakery? Um, no, I just do this on the side. I'm doing this for my sister's friend for her birthday. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. I've known her for a long time. Since, since kindergarten. Yeah, so this, this is my gift to her. <laughs> Isn't that a great gift? It's an amazing so. gift. Yeah, and actually, it was my son's birthday last night, and Lindsay made him a keto. Oh, he she did a keto sugar free uh, cheesecake. Wow! Mm -hmm. Are you calm, Dad? Are you calm? Are you calm? Can I bring you fruit? Do you have fruit? He loves fruit. Do you want to give him some? Uh, he's spoiled though. He won't eat it. Strawberries. What do you mean he's spoiled? I have you can try. He's spoiled. What about, what about edible flowers? Edible flowers? He would love the cream. Oh Just give him a finger of no cream. Way. He look the fruit he's he won't. Scary. The fruit he won't what? really like like, but he would take he's a like, finger. I would buy that cake. <laughs> <laughs> he loves cream. You can feed him. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he loves cream. Now you can hold him. He's your best friend. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like <laughs> now. Once in a while, this is okay, but yeah. not like every day. Not like a puppuccino for a dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying his cream. No, you already what have some. Like a piece of fruit. He won't eat it. You can try, try to it? give it. Yeah, what but if it he, has a little cream on it. He, he won't eat it. Let's see. He'll just lick the cream. What a smart bird. <laughs> he won't eat the fruit. That I have so organic funny. strawberries in the garden. He doesn't really eat it. Yeah. Wow. Did Wiz mm -hmm. uh, used to eat fruit, Liz? Apples. He loves mangoes. Mangoes? Yeah. Hi, Brady. Mine is spoiled. Back yeah. to our story. Uh, okay, so. You know, I, I have to talk about the Afterglow play because we did the first one. I think it was, it was actually on my birthday. Was it, bless you, three years ago. Was it three years ago, Lance? You're just taking a picture. <laughs> three years ago. It was uh, Afterglow 80s musical experience. And we ended up winning. First, we got nominated. I got nominated for Best Actress, which made me laugh. And so yeah. did Matilda. Because we were just being our crazy selves. So. Yeah. Um, I'm like, yeah, we're up against, like, I was at Rumor Willis and hundreds of actresses and stuff. But it, just to be nominated was very cool. cool. Um, but then it came around again to where the Afterglow original uh, musical, we got nominated for Best Ensemble. And if you guys know anything, the Glow Girls are still friends, some of us, for 35 years. Yeah. So the ensemble, Dan? The ensemble that you see, this is real life, that you see is like a real friendship on stage. So we get each other. Like Aww. if we miss something, like damn. No? <laughs> <laughs> if we miss like a line, because uh, Matilda was talking in my ear, like, and, and saying something about somebody. Well, Matilda, you gotta, you gotta stick with it. You're gonna throw us off our line. Yeah. But it was very real and it was fun. And and nobody knew. They were just excited to see us on stage. So yeah. uh, when we got nominated for uh, Best Ensemble yeah. uh, of the Decade, and we, 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 we won. We Yay! won, we won, we won. And Chris Carver 
won for best director wow for uh yeah of the decade and we beat out hamilton yeah. from the pantages and we beat out mama mia and then dan actually got second place which is always still nominated yeah uh, from broadway world as a choreography because he taught uh I, the actresses in six weeks how to wrestle Wow. So now we have another play coming out. Uh, Glow Girls are coming back to Vegas. Oh, sweet. And it's uh, it's an afterglow. We don't have, we have the title, but we're not announcing that yet. I okay. just saw the venue, mm -hmm. fell in love with the venue, and it will be next year. Um, we're thinking September, and you're going to see Glow Girls on oh. stage that you have oh. not seen in a while. God, that scared me. <laughs> you got them on a sugar high. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you, get, did you get spoiled? So how how do people find you? Uh, Roxy Esther um, on Facebook. Uh, I did my first, is it TikTok? <laughs> I wanted to call it TikTok. My first tic TikTok. You did? And I did. I only have two videos. You are uh, way ahead of me. I'm not in TikTok. Oh my God, I'm trying so hard. And I said, this is my first one. And then I have <laughs> another one of a dog. And then I'll have to do it. I just, I want to kind of... You know, expand. Yeah. that way we can advertise of what's going on with, with the play and everything. But I'm very excited because we've got more Glow Girls coming on on board for the yeah. play. So I'm very excited about it. Okay, guys. So you hear, this is my friend, Anoraxi Esther, legendary woman, gorgeous woman of wrestling. Gorgeous woman. Gorgeous of lady ladies. of wrestling. Sorry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you want me to rap? Wait, Lindsay is like dying for me to rap. When she says no, it means yes. Okay. Yeah. Can your bird? You remember my rap? Oh, you want to rap? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wrap Let's this rap. up, but we're, we're gonna, gonna wrap. wrap this up. Okay, I don't know your wrestling rap. But just go like this. I would. Yeah. Okay. When you meet with Roxy, you better beware, because I'm really strong and debonair. This jet set girl never backs down, because all she wants is a glow crowd. Oh my God, you <laughs> throw me off. <laughs> <laughs> Take three. One, two, three. Take three. Even Bowie's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't rap with you. You rap alone. <laughs> oh, no, I like it. Four. But I like where we screwed up. That makes it real. Okay. Oh, I love screw ups. You, you want to finish it the that, that was done. It was. Oh, that it was done. done. Oh, I thought that was, was part that two. Bad? No. Well, I've got another one. Okay, here's another one. Okay, take five. Okay. And go. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stop. Okay. All right, let's wrap. Okay. Take six. Okay. Uh, are, we, are we wrapping? Yeah? You wrap. Okay. I give you the beat. Okay. Now that you know my name is Roxy, it's obvious that I'm rich and foxy. In the ring, there's no one faster because they can't beat Roxy Astor. Don't fly away, love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love staring at the cake. Oh, oh my God, it's the cake. It's the cake. It's the cake. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. This was Roxy Astor. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Go check her out. Roxy Esther on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, and and in Instagram, Roxy.Aster. I put some really silly, funny videos of Bowie. Yay. So I have some really cool videos. It's not all about me. Yeah. It's about animals. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a big fat thumbs up. Go get up, uh, go check out my book, angelicparrots.com, how to train your parrot and more bestseller free flying. Where world. were you when I had my bird? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write it yet. I wasn't around yet. <laughs> wow. Oh, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> we met after shit okay. went down. Okay. <laughs> Went down. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for watching. We love you, and I'll see you next time in a new episode. Bye. Bye.